When you're creating multicam setups in DaVinci Resolve, there's definitely some creation options that you need to know just to make your life easier. I'm going to show you how all of the major multicam creation options work. Let's get into it. Here we've got three camera angles and we're going to right click, choose create new multicam clip using selected clips. The first option you've got here is the starting time code. By default, this is one hour. But if you want to change this, you can change it to zero if you prefer. This doesn't really matter that much. Next up we've got the frame rate. Ideally all of your footage will have been shot at the same frame rate. If it's not then you're going to have to make a decision here about how things are going to look and work but mixed frame rates aren't the topic of this video so I'm going to choose 23.976 because that's what all three video files were shot in. One of the most important ones is this angle sync option. There's five different ways we can tell DaVinci Resolve to match up all of these three camera angles so they're all playing at the same time and if you get this wrong when you cut between the different camera angles you're going to be shifting forwards and backwards in time which is definitely not what you want. You can sync on the in points of each of these clips if you've set in points and similarly you can sync on out points. If all of the three cameras had been using synced up time code we could use that and time code is usually for more professional setups so if you're working on one of those setups you can use time code of course but in a lot of cases you might be editing videos where where there wasn't time code and you have to sync in a different way. Normally that's going to be with sound sync. With sound sync all of the cameras have to be recording audio not necessarily the best quality audio so you might have one camera that has a proper microphone set up and that camera angle is going to contain the nice audio sound but the other two cameras are still recording audio we call it scratch audio they just record that scratch audio as a way of syncing up those camera angles when we're editing. The final option is marker and this lets you set a marker in each of the individual clips from the different cameras and then you can sync using those manually set markers. If you choose sound then you're going to need to choose the audio channel from each camera. Channel 1 and 2 are usually the left and right stereo signals. If you're having problems you can tell DaVinci Resolve to mix both channels together and use that mix to try and line up the clips or you can just set this to automatic to let DaVinci Resolve do its thing. Normally unless you've got some kind of weird setup channel one works fine. We'll look at the other options in just a second but I want to show you how a couple of these angle sync options work just so you've got some options when things go wrong. Sometimes you might be editing a video and you're trying to create a multicam setup but maybe one of the cameras didn't record any scratch audio maybe the settings were messed up or, or the volume was so low. In that case you're going to have to tell DaVinci Resolve how to use a manual sync point that you select and marker is one of the ways we can do this. Before we can use this marker option we've got to go and do a little bit of setup work first so I'm just going to come here and click cancel. What we need to do is open up each of the three camera angles and set a marker. So I'm just double clicking on this first camera angle and ideally you'll have a clap sync where someone on camera is clapping or using a slate to give you a good sound and visual matching point but if there was no clapping involved you need to find another part of the video to sync on. This has to be something that all three angles can see. So for example you can see I'm touching my nose and you can use the left and right buttons on the keyboard to move frame by frame to get a really accurate spot. Once you've found that you need to hit M on the keyboard to set a marker. I just move the playhead out of the way. We've got this little blue dot down here and that's a marker for this clip. Next we need to open up the second video file, scroll through this, there's me touching my nose again, <laughs> hit M to set a marker on that second clip and you can see it down there and we'll do the same thing for this third camera angle and now we've got markers set on all of these three clips we can select them all, choose create new multicam clip, make sure that we set the angle sync to marker and then hit create. If we double click the multicam clip to open it up in the source viewer and if we scroll through it we should see all three angles in sync now which we do and we can just go and create a new timeline from that switch over to multicam and edit it as normal. Well I'm just going to delete that timeline and the multicam clip and I'll show you those other options. The in angle sync method is very similar to the marker but instead of adding a marker with M on the keyboard you can use I on the keyboard to set an in point in each of those video files. 
All right, let's move on to the Multicam audio settings. Source audio channels just match up the audio files that are contained within each video file. So you can switch the audio channels if you want to when you switch camera angles. Reference audio angle one allows you to use an external audio file as a reference audio. And that audio file will be used for all of the angles. And adaptive tracks is a more complicated option. I'll be covering that in a future video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. When we created that last multicam clip, we used this sequential option for angle name. And all that does is it just assigns a sequential number. So you've got angle one, angle two, angle three, and so on. Sometimes you might want a more descriptive angle name, and that's where these options come in handy. If you want to use the physical file name of these clips as the angle names when you switch them, you can set this to file name. At the minute, the clip names and the file names are actually matching. What we could do is just cancel this. We could go and rename this a camera and then rename this B camera and so on. Just going to undo that. Sometimes you might not want to do that, especially if you've got lots of clips or if you've got lots of shorter clips that are starting and ending, you're not going to be able to use that method. For example, if you've got one main camera and you've got a second camera that's just been stopping and starting recording throughout the event. Let me show you another option and that's to use metadata. You can see we've got this other option, metadata angle or metadata camera. This allows us to use metadata built into those clips or set the metadata ourselves. Let me show you how to use the metadata angle version. Let's cancel this and we're going to come over to the media page and these are our three clips. Just right click on this top bar and make sure you've got this angle checkbox ticked. When I tick this and come back here, we've now got this angle column. We can click on this angle column, click again and choose a camera angle. You can type in anything you want here. I'm just going to keep it simple with A. Click here and click again. Type B. Click here. Click again and type C. Now, when you create your Multicam clip and choose angle name, metadata angle, or just go and create this and I'll show you what it does. If we open this up, now we've got angle A, angle B, and angle C for the angle names. And these will also appear if you edit with this Multicam clip. Let me show you some other options. If you want DaVinci Resolve to move these three clips to a new sub bin called Original Clips, you can tick this option. I normally turn this off because I don't like things being moved around all the time, but if you've got a lot of clips and you're syncing them all up, you might want to choose this option just so you're left with the multicam clip and then everything under that original folder automatically organized for you. And this last advanced option is detect clips from same camera. If I tick this, this box becomes enabled and then you get to choose the metadata that you want to detect. This is really useful if you've got that scenario where you've had multiple shorter clips recording at the same time as one long clip. So the main camera recording here, I could have been starting and stopping recording on a hand held camera, for example. I've got an entire video on how to do that, so I'm not gonna go over that again here. Because I've got this checkbox ticked, if I hit create, we now get this original clip spin created. We've got the new multicam clip, and if I open this up, here's our original three clips. Check out this video next for loads more information. I'm Jason Roberts, this is DaVinci Dojo. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.